Welcome back. It's Eric. Been a minute. Today, I'd just like to talk to you about something that was uh, sent to me. Of course, this is a paid promotion, so just to let you know in advance, they did send this review of this, so that's what I'm definitely going to do. Will not influence any of my decisions here. But today is a new radio that came to market, coming into the U.S. Um, from what they said in the email to me. Uh, so this here is a Max Talker two-way radio. This is a uh, dual band UHF, VHF, and only FM uh, transceiver, but it does receive AM. I know a lot of times when these things get put out, people see AM and think that you can transmit AM and switch between. No, and this one here does allow uh, some AM capability, but uh, it is a FM transmit only transceiver. So let's pop this box open and see what we have inside. All right, spared you the details of unboxing and fiddling around with packaging. So this is what we got. We have the charger, we have the battery, we have the Max Talker radio here, brand new with a beautiful peel we should do on that to get the uh, screen protector off. A lot of guys sometimes leave them on, uh, sometimes guys like to take them off. I'm unsure. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Do you leave your screen protector on? We also come with a battery clip. We also have, and this is the uh, enhanced um, combo here, it goes into the K-Jack. Yeah, it does have a K-Jack on the side of it, but it does have this um, earphone. But I had trouble really getting the foam onto this. And some people don't use headsets at all. Some people don't like these. This is an over the ear and it just uh, sits out the outside of the eardrum. A lot of guys like ones that go into there with a, with a bud. Um, maybe an attachment to, or an option for that. That would be something cool to see. But like they said, send it a review of this radio and that's what we're going to do. And um, also comes with the lanyard and the user manual. You see everything we talked about just a minute ago, but this said it comes with a tactical antenna. Man, where is the tactical antenna? So this is the box that you get, and uh, yeah, it's interesting because the uh, the whole box here has uh, you know not nothing really to it. Everything's laid out in front here. Um, and I was like, man, what's going on here? But if you lift this cover, oh yes, like a tactical antenna would be. Uh, this is a tactical foldable antenna, so we'll pop that out as well. It does come with two antennas. So yeah, if you get one of these, you're like, where's my so that's where that is. So let's go ahead and uh, get back to the radio side. Back with the Max Soccer TKW60. Now, the first thing I always like to do is get the radio on the charger, give it a full good charge. It does come with somewhat power already in the battery, but what I always like to do is make sure that we have a good full charge on it and we can put it through its paces. So I'll just drop that in the charger. Once that light turns back to green again, we'll know we're ready to work with this. What we're going to do in the meantime is take a look at the information provided by Max Talker about this radio. And when we come back, we can kind of look it all over and see what we find. Key feature spec sheet for this ham radio shows as waterproof IP67, has NOAA frequencies, which is great for weather emergencies in the field, multi-band coverage, and the coverage is listed as for UHF, for transmit and receive 300 to 600 megahertz. That is a very big spread here. We have VHF as 100 to 290, and 100 to 108, that's in the FM broadcast band, and up to 290, you can get in the military band. On AM, we have 108 to 136 for receive. Yes, like I said, it is receive only. It does have an AM availability as receive. Also on the UHF, you can receive 350 to 390 in AM mode. In FM mode, which is a broadcast receive only for broadcast frequencies, this coverage is more than the U.S., which starts at 88 to 108, but this gives you down to 65 to 108. Receive only for FM. I use that quite a bit in the field. You can definitely use that um, while you're using your radio, and it will. Um, when someone comes on your frequency, you're going to hear who's talking, and once they stop talking and everything's done, your FM radio um, comes back, at least on the radios I use. I'm hoping that's the case here. We're going to find that out. Has 199 memory channels, has type USB-C charging, 100 milliamp hour battery, also has that one key flashlight alarm, which a lot of people don't like on the handbands, but it's great on the other frequency coverages you can use this on and also has one key frequency match. We're going to have to figure out what that is. And you can see that beautiful radio on the right hand of the screen at the moment. It is multicolored. It's come a long, long way in such a short time from 2015 getting $35 radios off Amazon. Now, uh, instead of LCD display, we're actually getting a full multicolor display. Looks very professional and layout. And I am hoping this works as they say, but we're definitely going to take a uh, some measurements on wattages along the bands on transmit and receive because 
Yeah, multi-band receiver is one thing, but when you get into multi-band transmitting and the ranges you can do with such, uh, the antenna that's provided, even the tactical, you're going to run into some issues because um, it's not going to cover everything, I don't think, but we're going to find that out. And in this picture, it shows the radio and all its contents and also shows it as an 8-watt radio. So that is also something we're going to look at. But yes, it does come with everything you see there. It's a lot better than how I did it earlier in the video, but it is exactly what you get. Now we have to find out, do we have 8 watts and where do we have 8 watts across the whole band, the whole spread spectrum? That'd be very rare to be able to do. So we're going to find out where it works, where it doesn't, and everything in between. Back again now. We got through the tech speak. If you made it through that far, that is awesome. But back again with the Max Dogger TKW60. Now this has a green charge light, so we're all good. Now I'm looking around on this radio and it is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Has a good hand feel. Has a lot going for it so far. Especially that uh, extended frequency coverage we're going to go over. Uh, I already got my dirty little grubby fingerprints all over this, but yeah, this, this radio is very nice. Now, it does say it's waterproof, and this does have a very sealed case to it. Now, one thing I did notice, if you see there, uh, this comes up as a Max Talker M1 with output power. Uh, let me see if that zooms in a little bit. There we go. Maybe a little light on the situation, and we can uh, really talk about what we're saying here. M1, output power, 8 watts, and uh, this is from Max Talker Technologies. And that coverage does say 100 to 600. Wow, that is quite a spread, like I said before. But I do enjoy something different on this versus uh, the TID radio. This one has the battery charge on the back side here. This is the USB port. Now, does that make it waterproof? No, it does not. It should have a little bit of a covering on it. Now, one thing to note, it, this does have the screws on the radio instead of the battery. So that is uh, one plus going for it and very nice. But yes, you can definitely charge this battery all by itself. It is uh, very sealed in there once it's sealed in does have a nice seal on this so maybe the radio itself is waterproof and not the battery of course not with having that uh, exposed port for the USB-C right here and of course the battery terminals um, I wouldn't dunk this in in a pond maybe I'm not sure I wouldn't want to throw a radio in the water unless it was terrible so we're gonna turn this on in just a second now back again real quick, we're just going to go over some basic power testing. You got the, I got my watt meter in the back here. So this is the TKW60, even though this shows as a Max Talker M1 on the back of this, even the sticker shows 8 watts. We're going to test that out and test the frequency coverages. Just real quick, uh, let me wipe off my grubby fingers. There we go. We got a uh, clean screen here. I just want to power this up, just to let you see what we have going on. Welcome walkie talkie. All right, so there's our frequencies right now uh, that are just there. Uh, but I wanna show you the menu setting, which is uh, something that I can actually be impressed by uh, the way they have this laid out. So there's our TX and RX, and you hit our home again, and then you can go down arrows to get to say squelch, TX power is actually what I wanna check right now. Hit the home to enter, um, and that's low. So we are in high power. So I think it should be between um, what, two to four watts on low, and then high power should be eight watts or close to it since that's what it says. Uh, we have the Roger Beep. Um, we have all kind of other things, scrambles built into this. That's great. Uh, timeout, transmissions, your steps, all kind of offsets. You can do um, a variety of things. And of course, your back button gets you there. Uh, if we go our down arrow over, uh, we can set up CT, uh, CSS and DCS tones. Um, there's our option sets. Uh, let's see what our options are. Uh, backlight, uh, power save, the voice that comes on a lot of these radios. I've already turned that off. There's a warn type, I think. Oh yeah, you can set it to transmit and set an alarm. We're gonna do that right now and just hit home to, to uh, conserve that. So if I hit the warn, it's not gonna transmit out. That's, that's uh, not necessary in my scenario. Beep is the keypad beep. Um, but yeah, you saw the first one, it had Roger beep. Um, and radio, what's that? Okay, we have box gain and delay, that's good to know. So I'm gonna go through these menus in another another uh, video, channel store, which actually you can uh, set up everything right through there. It does have software um, that you can do it, initialization, uh, stuff like that. Uh, we don't need to do any of that, we're just gonna do a power test. So I'm gonna go over all that in the next video, but I'm just curious about the power test, that's always where we like to start, see, make sure where we're at on far as power and how far is and uh, where does it transmit on frequencies? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw this in. I have it on power save a little bit. The uh, 
I have it on the two meter simplex uh, frequency. Figure it should be centralized around that. This is where a lot of these radios are um, kind of centralized on power. So let's go ahead and just uh, key this thing up. Oh boy, we have four watts, four watts right there. That's not uh, eight watts whatsoever. Let me just go ahead and just, sometimes these get reversed as far as the uh, programming of power. So we'll hit that, hit that. We'll go to TX power. Maybe the low and the high got reversed in programming when they were setting this radio up. Uh, anything is possible. This is a test unit. Now we're on low power. It shows on the L there. So let's see if that changes just on the two meter simplex. No, now we're under, uh, under a half a watt. So that is not an eight watt radio. So that's not good. So let's at least get our tax power up to where it needs to be. Maybe uh, the other bands are better. So what I'm gonna do, the uh, 70 centimeter here. Oh, yep, there we go. So if you screw up, you can uh, hit too many zeros. You can go ahead and just hit that back button. Let's see if this has any better power. Okay, we're under four watts on high. And let's just figure out we go into TX power down here, hit that, we'll go to low, see how low we go. Okay, there we go. So that is functional if you want to have, you know, local communication, say you're just out and about, but you don't need to transmit at eight watts, then this is the radio for you. However, if you are looking for eight watts because it says it, you are not going to get that uh, power. So one thing I want to do is I haven't done anything to unlock this. This, uh, you know, shows on the back. It comes the way it comes. It's 100 megahertz, which is also in the FM band there uh, for FM broadcast in the U.S. Let's see if we get any power on 100 megahertz. Oh wow! Okay, a little over three and a half watts on 100. Okay, well, I guess you could say, I don't know. You could go. You can make maybe a pirate radio station for yourself. Hello, this is the Eric Sexoff Radio on 102.5 on your FM dial. Um, I mean, it could be possibly used as a dream scenario where you can uh, see it's picking up the uh, FM station even through my uh, dummy load, of course, 50,000 watts. However, the uh, whole point of this, you think maybe you could use this to find out what station someone's listening to and tell them to drive better or something like that. I don't know, but... This is where we're going to leave this video right now. I'm going to play around this a little bit more. But yeah, you can do 102.5. Uh, actually, let's go all the way up here. It says 600 and gives us blue. We don't have much power. Let's see where 500 leaves us. Two watts. So this is about like all the other radios. It'll have uh, the coverage for receive. And it'll also have transmit. But it definitely drops off um, in between there. Um, let's do... Uh, 155 500 uh just as vhf so that's a little four and a quarter watts so that's that's all right 463 uh 500 around the grms frequencies that's three uh three a little under three and a quarter watts on high so uh take it as what you will but uh yeah this max talker tkw60 does have some optional fun features for the fm broadcast band uh you can just uh, enjoy, I guess, and uh, have your own pirate radio station uh, for three watts out of the box. So that's one thing you can do with it. Um, but we're going to go through and see how it looks on Spectrum and all that stuff in another video. But just talking about the Max Talker TKW60 and comes with all the fun accessories. So I'm going to definitely put it through its paces and we'll see what we can come up with more than this. So I appreciate you stopping by there, text us. And uh, yeah, check out the Max Talker website if you're already intrigued and want to get one as well. I'm more than happy to get you one. All right, we'll see you at 73 Eric Tech Stuffs. On to the next one.